hope you're having a lovely day or evening, whichever it may be. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Atom 8 liter sling bag by Patagonia and how I use it as an adventure and artist bag on our travels. Before I begin, if you enjoy art, nature, and are a wanderer like me, please go down below and subscribe for more videos related to those three things. Now, let's get in to the review. So before I go into a really detailed review about what I carry with me in this bag, I'm going to go over the specs from their website. I'm going to reference my phone for this. Um, the bag retails for $59. It comes in six different colors. Black, classic navy, patchwork smolder blue, which is what I have, dark ruby, new navy, and the palo green. So all the colors are really pretty. I got this bag from REI. Other features from their website says two easy access compartments, ergonomical design strap, um, you can carry extra gear, there's straps on the outside where you can put a puffy coat or I've strapped a water bottle in there, um, so it's easy to carry gear, cool and comfortable mesh on the inside that's tapped like against your body, um, a handy phone pocket which I believe is this front one, but if you have like the iPhone Pro Max like me, it's not, it's not going to fit, um, but you can put other things in there, I have my keys in here. A uh, padded tablet sleeve on the inside in the main compartment and the cool thing about this is 50% of the exterior fabric is recycled and 100% of the polyester lining on the inside is recycled material and this is also has a durable water repellent finish so if you do get caught in the rain it's not gonna soak through. Now it's not waterproof but water repellent will be fine for most cases. So like I said, in the front there's straps where you can tie down extra gear. I've put a puffy up here and a water bottle and these are really adjustable and you can actually put a lot in there which is nice. Um, and then at the top here is a little strap so you can hang the bag or pick it up. On the side here are the two zipper compartments. On the back we have the mesh on the strap and the back of the bag, which is extra squishy. And then we have the additional phone pocket, or I keep my keys in there with just a pen. So just stuff that you like, kind of need easy access to. Another strap down here um, with the Patagonia logo. And with this sling strap, it actually has a clip which is really nice um, when you're wearing like a bulky jacket. You can just unclip it instead of pulling it over your head. In this first compartment, I have my wallet, just a small one for like credit cards and stuff. And then there's a little keychain in here for keys probably. I don't tend to use that, but it's there. In this main compartment, I have sunglasses. A big sunglass case. I usually either have my sunglasses in there or my camera um, that I'm filming with and it's nice because the inside of this bag is padded for a tablet but it's kind of like a big like camera case so I like that and then I have my ginormous art supply <laughs> pencil case for on the go. I'm terrible at just bringing limited things so this is full of color pencils pens, fine liners, um, pencil sharpeners, washi tape, erasers, all that jazz. But cool that it fits. Then in here I have another little pouch for some charging things. I have my phone cable and then a charger wipes. I have my business card little holder with my artwork on one side. So these are just my business cards. And then chapstick. And then I usually have some additional camera batteries in here as well. And then lastly, in the little pocket, I have my sketchbook. So this is a Strathmore um, toned paper hardcover sketchbook. I just started it, so I don't have too, too many sketches in here yet. Some thumbnails from a painting I did. Um, I 
I believe this is the 5x7 one. It's about a little bit thicker than a moleskin, but about the size of a moleskin. And that fits in the pocket. So that is also in there. Um, yeah, and this is what the inside looks like. You can see. And then the padded sleeve pocket for a tablet. And when it's empty, it's pretty thin. So that is what's in this bag. Um, in terms of art supplies and just like daily necessities. A lot of times I also have my phone in there. I just throw it in with my sketchbook in this sleeve. So, and it's nice and protected and easy to get to. If you're not looking to use this as an artist bag, not everyone watching this video will be an artist. So if you're seeing like what can actually fit in here, I have some other items for scale. See. What will fit. So for those avid readers out there, a copy of Dracula, a book light, reading glasses, and a wallet. So I also like this sleeve in here because it protects any kind of book from getting super damaged. Your wallet can just go straight in there. Glasses, Other things that can fit into this pocket, standard moleskin, fits right in, as well as the iPad Air, this is I believe the 13 inch, and that fits in too, and it just zips around. So anything bigger than a 13 inch iPad probably won't fit, but anything smaller fits perfectly fine. So the reason I got this bag was I wanted to be a little more inconspicuous when we were traveling in terms of being able to draw and create art but without a bunch of people noticing all of my art supplies. I'm a little self-conscious that way. But I think all in all this bag has really proved to be the best little companion. It holds everything that I could ask for, even more. I thought I would have some issues putting all the things I wanted to bring with me, like the camera and the sketchbook and all the pencils and things I need, but it really holds a lot and it's super comfortable. Um, so I highly recommend if you're looking for an easy on the go art bag to hold all your stuff, this would be the one to go with. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully this review was helpful. And like I said before, if you want more art, nature, and adventure related videos, please subscribe.